Hello all of you beautiful butterflies. Today I'm going to be unboxing this hiker doll. I have Birdie right here in the intro. I usually don't have her but here she is today. Anyways we're gonna go ahead and move her so that we can take a closer look at this new hiker doll. I'm very excited because I can see a little doggy and I obviously love dogs so I'm excited to open up this doll. Let's go ahead and take a look at her packaging. So, um, the background, first of all, I gotta turn off my light, but the background is this sort of like relaxing palm leaves type of feel. I think this was the same one for one of the spa dolls that I got. Um, this like relaxing type of thing. Um, it doesn't really match Hiker for me, but I still like the packaging not gonna lie there i still like the packaging i just don't know if i see hiker whenever i see this packaging either way um i am excited again i'm excited to open up the, the doll obviously if we go on to the back of the packaging we can see that there is um some pictures on the back here that kind of show you you know here's all of the accessories here's all of the uh, here's the doll holding the camera and here is the doll full screen with the backpack flashlight things like that she also has her sunglasses on right here, so that's pretty cool. Um, all of her accessories are at the bottom. So let's go ahead and start to get this doll opened up. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up here because unboxing takes me forever. So yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and speed this up. So we can go ahead and open up the back right here and get the plastic part off of the doll cardboard. And now we just go ahead and cut all of the stuff that's holding her onto the box um there isn't too much stuff holding her onto the box but there's enough to where it was a bit difficult i guess i mean i don't really know it wasn't that difficult so i can't say like it was difficult or anything because it was like kind of easy to get her out of the box but whatever um just, yeah so <laughs> oh my goodness i unboxed her out of this box and got her hair untied. I also took the hat off. I'm not sh really sure if I like this hat, not gonna lie. So I cut it off of her um, head. Uh, the, there was like little like, things attached to her head, attaching the hat to it. And I just cut those to be able to take the hat off. Um, and then once I was done with this, we moved on to the accessories. And I tried to get those out of the box, which was also a bit difficult for me. So, yeah. I got the dog out, though. Now I just have to get this map out, which some, like, these parts right here were just kind of difficult because they had tape on top of them. And I didn't realize that they had tape on top of them. So I was like, hmm, this is a little difficult to get out. And then I was like, why can't I even, like... It was a whole thing. It was a whole process. And I honestly think that I was just too tired. Not gonna lie. I, I, I don't remember what time I filmed this. Probably like around 8 or something like that. And I just, I didn't know there was tape on top of it. You know, as, as people usually do. As people usually do. Um, but eventually, I took the tape off. And then they were still difficult to get out of the packaging. Yeah, it was a whole struggle for me. Um, my tired hands could not deal with it. My tired mind, honestly, could not deal with it. Um, you know what's also funny is that I'm voicing this over at a tiring time for me. If I start just talking nonsense in the middle, um, I think you, I think y'all can all tell why. You can all tell why I'm talking nonsense, but yeah. So, anyways, I took these nail clippers and tried to clip the. Thing that was attaching like the hat to her head to make it shorter so that it wouldn't stick out um like it was doing it was protruding out of her head which was super annoying because it was going past her hair she also has a side ponytail which is a cute style but i think i might change because if you're going on a hike you're not gonna want a side ponytail honey you're gonna want a bun you're gonna want a bun so i'm gonna put a bun in her hair um because it seems more realistic to me not gonna lie um so yeah, so her outfit is, it's there. It's a okay outfit. I think it's an appropriate outfit for hiking, shall I say, shall I say. I like the shirt. The pants are just a little bright pink for me. And going with the shirt, I feel like they should have been more of an orangey color, a blue color. Pink with orange is not a good match for me. In my book, it's not like a be the, the best match you can get. 
Um, she does have a lot more articulation than regular Barbies with movement at the knee, um, at the hip, um, at the, uh, what, what's that called? Your wrist, um, and the elbow, shoulder, and neck. There you go. I named them all. Uh, she has movement on all of those, and this is because she is like a hiker doll, you could say. So she, you know, obviously needs some movement in those places for hiking. I need more dolls with more articulation, because all of the dolls from the 80s that I mainly collect do not have any articulation except for their teeny little itty bitty waist that l literally is just unrealistic, and in they can twist at their waist, like okay thanks um <laughs> like i obviously collect those dolls so obviously i like them but their teeny itty bitty waist that you know doesn't really fit on clothes or anything is not my most favorite part of the dolls shall i say so this shirt says nature vibes which i don't really like the word vibes but cute shirt it has like a little sunset or rise with like some trees and stuff like that i like, I don't think the word vibes, like, takes away from, like, the shirt, like, how much I would wear this shirt, just because, um, it's not, like, a big, huge thing, you know? Like, it's not, like, the entire point of the shirt. I would more look at towards the nature thing and, like, see the trees and stuff like that than I looked at nature vibes, you know what I mean? So, I still like this shirt. I think this shirt would be cute not on a hiking doll, so that's pretty good. Um, it has, like, a blue around the shoulders, around the neck, around, around the waist. There we go. It has orange at all of those places, and then the pink shorts are completely pink and they are like an an athletic type of material so you can move around a lot in them which would be obviously perfect for hiking um i think they might be biker shorts but I, I don't know what biker shorts really are so you know if they're biker shorts they're biker shorts if they're not then they are some type of athletic shorts but yeah don't really go together separate kind of cute just saying now this blue hat I don't really know how I feel about hats on dolls, like, I don't, I don't know if I'll put this on my doll a lot, but it's a pretty cool thing, I don't know, I kind of like the hat, um, I just don't know if I like it on this doll, also in the packaging, they, they boost the hat up a lot, so it looks a little ridiculous in the packaging, whenever she's not in the packaging, because this is what it looks like with the packaging, and that does not look correct, without the packaging, it starts looking cute, so I kind of like the hat whenever it's more, on the doll's head than just kind of sitting there so yeah the hat is pretty cute that's pretty cute um I, I i really like her outfit i do i mean like of course they don't match completely but if i was going on a hike it's not like i'm gonna wear jeans or like a skirt or something which is what i would normally wear i would obviously wear something more comfortable and athletic athletic athletable athletable one of those um to hike with so her outfit is obviously appropriate and very cute um these brown shoes are kind of like the are kind of i don't even know i forgot what i was gonna say honestly these brown shoes are cute they have like a little like strap across the front they look like hiking shoes not gonna lie like they don't look um they don't look um what's it called Man, I, I just don't even know what I'm saying about these shoes, not gonna lie. They're brown, um, they have designs, um, they have shoelaces. Yeah, that's it about the shoes, honestly. And now, the camera. This is super cool to me, because I have a bunch of doll cameras, like, probably too many, and almost none of them have a like neck thing where you can wrap them around your neck which i think is the coolest part especially for hiking like you're either going to keep your camera in your bag or you're going to keep it around your neck and i am very excited to um use this in some of my doll pictures just to get like this like, like a different um a different sort of oh my goodness a different sort of uh, like whenever she, guys i can't i can't right now okay anyways it's going to be cool in photography basically then we have this map, which will also be cool in photography, but it has a little thing for the doll to hold it, and I think this map is, like, really cool. Like, I, I don't have any maps for my dolls, which I don't have a lot of things for my dolls, comparing to this video, but I don't have any maps for my dolls, so this is kind of cool, and I like how it's bent. Like, that's, that's pretty, 
that's pretty fun detail because they could have done it completely flat and then it would have not just been as realistic to whenever you get those threefold things threefold what what are those things called where you like get them out of the hiking reservation place and you open them up and then they say a bunch of stuff about hiking and then have like a little map on the side whatever it's realistic to those types of things then she has some barbie um branded trail mix like how cool barbie freaking branded trail mix i want some please please can i have some of like real life trail mix that is of course you know vegan um and then she has some sun cream which doesn't have anything to hold it with so who knows how she's gonna apply it to her face but um arguably one of the most important parts whenever you're going outside please put on your sunscreen guys please put on your sunscreen um burns are not fun i'm just gonna say it. i'm just gonna say it also isn't it crazy that like the sun's rays can reach all the way down to earth like and burn you how literally how <laughs> it, the sun is so far away i don't understand these types of things but you know science um anyhow sunscreen important cool design has a little sun on it and it says it says something on it i'm not sure what it actually says i don't know if i could even read it um but it says something so yeah and the sun is like cute like it has a little face on it and the sun's sleeping and it like has a little face with like red lipstick on like yes ma'am sunscreen is cute what <laughs> um and then she has this torch which is orange and it ha does have a little thing for the doll to hold it so you know she can hold the torch um it has some details it has minimal details but i don't think that a torch needs that many details not gonna lie so yeah and i i like that it's orange because most of the time torches are like black and then it's boring but an orange standout like torch like this you know you could find that if it if you actually needed a torch and it was really dark outside you could find that in the grass you know but if it's black it's gonna be a little harder to find um then we have these sunglasses which i actually really like a lot of times i feel well there were sunglasses that i got a while ago that were this same like design but they were all gold and they were a cute design but they were all gold and you couldn't even see through them so i definitely like these glasses where you can see through them because i think that's pretty cool that you can see through them and aren't blinded because your sunglasses are gold um but yeah and then we have this water bottle here which i would say hydro flask because it looks like the design of a hydro flask but it does have a barbie head on it so i'm gonna go ahead and say barbie water bottle you know just because that's cooler than a hydro flask in my opinion not gonna lie if i had a barbie branded water bottle if I had a Barbie branded really anything type of situation here, I would be very happy, not gonna lie. But now we move on to the definitely cutest part of this entire thing. We first gotta talk about the backpack, but then we get on to the cutest part. So the backpack has a bunch of straps on it to be able to keep it on the doll. It also has a little like roll up thing where there's like a little hole and then basically like it doesn't actually come down, but there would have been like a little thing that you can pull down and like kind of go like that so the hole wouldn't be just open um also she didn't come with a leash for the dog which is a little bit concerning for me but i guess if the dog is a puppy and can't really walk yet that's probably why it's in the backpack um hopefully you know like her water bottle and stuff doesn't hurt the puppy or anything like that but now we move on to the little puppy the little puppy which is an orangey type of brown color super cute super cute it has a, its like little paw sticking out like kind of like begging for something and honestly it's kind of the size of a puppy compared to a barbie it's kind of the size of a puppy and it has like a little bit of a sad face like it is begging for something which is the cutest thing ever like uh, a lot of times barbie pets are kind of my favorite part of the entire thing so since this puppy is so cute, I'm not going to say it's my favorite part, but it's definitely my favorite part. And I like this because I don't even have to use this for hiking. Like, I could just literally be having them walk, like, if I was taking photography of them walking to the mall, puppy in a backpack. If I was, I don't know, um, taking pictures of them going to school, puppy in a backpack. Right? Right? If your school allows dogs in it, maybe dogs. <laughs> um, but yeah, so super cool. And I like that it's not just for, um, what's it called? Uh, 
um, hiking. It's not just for hiking. You know, you can use it whenever. So if you couldn't already tell, tell that we changed from video to photos, I have taken a bunch of photos of this girl on a hike. Now, I didn't go out in nature to be able to do this, but I did just take them on my little filming station right here. We can see that um, all of those ones before. Super cute. This one, she has a torch in it. This one, she also has a torch in it. Um, I just sort of tried to make it look like she was on like a picnic more than a hike since I wasn't, I don't know, in the nature that you have, you know? Um, I gotta say my favorite picture was the one before this one because it did have the dog in it. Um, in the backpack, of course. Um, it was super cute. I really liked that one. But yeah, guys, that's all for me today. I really hope you liked this unboxing of the hiker doll. I sure did because now I have a new doll, so. Yay! Um, and I have a new dog. I have a new dog, of course. Um, but yeah, guys, that's all for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do a like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every single time that I post. I know it's so crazy. You can also check my description to see my Instagram. And on my Instagram, I post photography like the ones you just saw. I might be even posting those on there. So there you go. But you'll also see um, maybe some video uploads and also shorts. Like I post like little videos on there as well that aren't long enough to really post on here as an actual video. Anyways, you can also um, comment down below a lot of stuff that you want to comment. You can say anything down there. And I like reading your comments and I respond to a lot of them. So you can do that and maybe get a response from me. Well, you probably will get a response from me. But, uh, yeah, that's all for me today. So I really, really hope you enjoy this video. And goodbye!